orangutans are unique among primates in the way they move between trees. That was a clip from the National Geographic series Paradise Islands. Viewers may often wonder how such astounding footage is actually filmed. In this case, and many others, it was shot by our next guest. Emmy award-winning wildlife photographer James Aldred has spent a career up in the trees in jungles and forests across the globe. His life's work is documented in his new book, the man who climbed trees. James is with us. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much. So I, I just asked you, you were 10 when you first climbed a tree and you <laughs> knew it would have play some role in your life. Yes. What, yeah. what, what is it about the trees and these giant features that you love so much? I think it's the energy, really. Um, they're sort of fountains of life, aren't they, trees? And they support a lot of biodiversity. Uh, they're just an opportunity for looking at familiar landscapes from a different perspective in many respects. You know, when you climb up into their branches, it's, um, you know, it's a nice physical experience, but it also takes you on a mental and, you know, emotional journey. You've worked with one of the uh, most well-known voices in nature shows, with, of course, Sir David Attenborough. Yes. And, and you actually rigged up systems so he could climb in trees. Yeah, nerve-wracking. It was nerve-wracking. <laughs> you write about it. Why? Well, just, just sort of hoisting or, or raising any other human being up and having responsibility <laughs> for their safety. Is there he goes. But, but with David, yes, of course. But um, So we had that on a counterbalance bosun's chair system yeah. so I could winch him up. Um, yeah. And you, you've got David Attenborough at the end of a rope. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Two, I, actually, I'll put a lot of safeties in on that. I think I'll, I'm, I'm quite a paranoid rigger. So. This is all. It's not a, it's not a 10-year-old climbing a tree. No. This, this, this is like more like climbing a mountain every It is mountaineering and caving and industrial rope uh, techniques. Because the trees, are, are, they're the size of buildings. You know, some of them are a 30, 35 story building. You, you know, know, looking at all of this, when, you, when you're able to show people this different perspective from up high, yeah. do you think that's helping people maybe appreciate nature and conservatism a little bit more? I think so. I mean, it is one of the, the, the few sort of last truly unexplored um, sort of biological frontiers on the planet, the, mm -hmm. the, the rainforest canopy. So to take people on a journey there, and particularly with a presenter as gifted and talented as, as so David Attenborough, they can communicate that very, very well. So mm -hmm. to be part of that, you know, helping introduce people to new environments and, mm -hmm. and sort of, you know, engender inspiration is nice. When you, you, know. go, when you go up in the trees to get these shots, yeah. typically how long do you spend up there? It can be anything from a couple of days to I've, I've just come back from a, a month in the Philippines where I was up um, in a tree every day for four weeks, dawn till dusk, 12 hours a day, mm -hmm. um, to get the footage. It, so it, a and lot the waiting it. is the hardest part? Well, actually, I really enjoy it. It's, yeah. like, it's like waiting at a theater for your favorite actor to come out on stage. It might come out <laughs> you know, in 10 seconds or it could be 10 days. Yeah. But sooner or later, Richard Burton or whoever will yeah. stroll out there. Yeah. And, you know, if we get uh, Richard Burton now, that would be interesting. <laughs> it, it would be, yeah. <laughs> it's not always safe, though. There's got to be more danger than just getting up there. And in the book, you write about some crazy things that yeah. have happened. Yeah, it's a very dynamic environment, the rainforest. There's a high turnover of life. You know, a lot of parasites, yeah. um, a, a lot of just very, very dynamic things are constantly changing. Um, but that's part and parcel of working there, really. You've been attacked by African honeybees, charged up by elephants, <laughs> countless illnesses. It sounds terrible, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Like, like one man disaster. Yeah. But um, it, it's just because over 20 years it happens. You know, because yeah. um, you're entering at, at their environment, you know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of these places as, as a human being, you don't really belong there. And you're sort of trying to force yourself into um, a, a, an ecosystem that gets on perfectly fine without you. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of things um, there that you do need to be careful of. Any but. one more place? I'm sure there are many, but next place that you want to go and be able to capture? Oh, I would love to spend some time in the Pacific North, um, Northwest, actually, up around British Columbia. The temperate rainforests really, really interest me. So maybe one day. The book is The Man Who Climbs Trees. James Aldred, thank you so much for being with thank us this morning. Thank you very much. It was, it was a thank treat. You.